Hey there everybody, episode 8 of Musclebound Geek. Today we'll be going over foods that boost your metabolism. This is something I get asked a lot. Josh, is there anything out there I can eat that'll help me lose weight? Uh, what can I do for my diet to uh, get some results? Besides exercise, obviously diet is very important. 70% people is diet, 30% is the gym. Cannot exercise a shitty diet. So let's go over this. I have a list of 10 things right here. Top 10 foods that will boost your metabolism and help you with your weight loss and help you with progress. First off, and most importantly, is water. Water is an appetite suppressant. You should be drinking it all the time. Non-stop. I mean, non-stop, you know what I mean. Uh, it flushes out all the sodium and all the toxins in your body. If you keep yourself well hydrated, you will have less hunger cravings. Uh, the second is green tea. I know green tea is very popular for some of you people. Uh, the extract of green tea that that boosts your metabolism and it also actually might help in weight loss obviously helps in weight loss is not going to make you lose weight don't believe any of that kind of stuff it's magical oh just drink this magical thing you lose weight doesn't work like that but it will help uh, soup obviously healthy soup you know I mean like chicken and rice chicken and vegetables not something like that thick ultra chili soup chili's not soup by the way putting that out there. Uh, soup. Uh, soup is also an appetite suppressant. Why? Is it because it is made up of liquids and certain solids that satisfy hunger. Uh, grapefruit. I'm sure some of you have heard, or if not all of you, have tried or at least heard of the grapefruit diet. The reason the grapefruit diet works is there's certain chemical properties in grapefruit that actually reduces insulin levels, and you do that, it will promote weight loss and it'll boost your metabolism. Um, apples and pears, number five. Uh, it's low calorie, it's sweet, so it takes care of those sugar cravings. It's high in fiber. Uh, and of course, any food high in fiber, it makes you feel full. The more you feel full, the less you eat. And these uh, water-soluble fruits, such as apples and pears, grapefruits, and certain soups, they keep your digestive system on track. It's not, you know, don't have any crapping problems, that's right. We all don't want that. Uh, it steadies those insulin levels. When you have steady uh, insulin levels, your digestive system is on track. That will help prevent fat storage, which is, of course, wonderful. Uh, number six, broccoli. Your parents told you all your life to eat your broccoli. They weren't just bullshitting you. Eat your broccoli, trust me. <laughs> it's a good thing. So broccoli, it is high calcium, it is high in vitamin C, it is high in vitamin A, volute and fiber, it is a superfood. This thing's got everything you could want. Remember that. And number six, hey, my favorite number, awesome, that works out. See, it works out for me too, it's perfect. Like I said, perfect. Number seven, be low-fat yogurt. Make sure it is low-fat yogurt. Why? It is rich in the calcium, it is low-calorie, calcium is a metabolism booster again wonderful number eight and a personal favorite of mine lean turkey why it is high in protein high protein will curb that appetite of yours it is 99 percent fat free ah it is a low calorie food also with lean meats it takes more energy to digest them and what does that mean for you? The more energy it takes to digestion, the more calories you are bu you are burning, the less fat you have. Beautiful. Number nine, oatmeal. I always start my breakfast with oatmeal. Why? It's a fat-soluble fiber. And, of course, the fiber. It will keep you full, and it gives you plenty of energy to start your day. It is a big thing for all you bodybuilders out there. Trust me. Oatmeal. Not instant oatmeal. Get the good stuff. The real oats, that instant stuff, they cut a lot of vitamins and minerals out. Trust me, full oatmeal, you'll feel great. It's, like I said, hey, metabolism booster. It is perfect. Another wonderful food. And number ten, this actually might surprise you. And the reason it works might also surprise you a lot. But don't worry, it's not a bad thing. Unless you're allergic to this food, then, obviously. That is hot peppers. Why? There's a chemical in hot, pe uh, hot peppers called... Capsaicin. I'm probably saying that wrong. In fact, I, I'm pretty sure I am. Why? 
So this chemical, it stimulates your body to release stress hormones. And you are stressed, obviously, your metabolism is going to spike. And when your metabolism spikes, it's going to cause more calories to be burnt. I'm sure you all know when you're under stress, you are sweating, your body is going, you're ready. Fight or flight, uh, yeah, fight or flight. <sighs> you love these long pauses? As you, uh, they happen, you know, lots of information, spewing them out there. Gotta collect my thoughts again. But yeah, those top ten foods right there. Metabolism booster. Definitely something you want in your diet. Oatmeal for breakfast. Lean meats like fish, turkey, chicken. Make sure you trim that fat, though. All great foods to have. Definitely incorporate broccoli and vegetables, green vegetables, into your diet. Fruits into your diet. For all those reasons I just said. Now, some people might be questioning the last video. Well, you said milk and cheese. Why? Milk and cheese. Dairy? Yes. But fat is in that stuff. Not good. That's why you want the low-fat yogurts. That's the important part when it comes to dairy. So that'll be it for today. Like I said, huge list. That's why this video is coming out so soon. I'll probably continue with the uh, nutrition tomorrow. <laughs> and some other stuff on the way. Have fun. See you later. And don't forget, stop dreaming, start doing.